In this step, we're going to take a look at the different ways that you can move around in the viewport in Unreal Engine, because there are quite a few different ways and they're all useful in their own different ways. So we'll start with what is known as standard navigation, which is kind of default behavior in Unreal Engine. And the way you do it is by essentially just clicking and dragging within the viewport. So if I go into the viewport here and if I do left click and drag, that allows me to kind of move forwards and backwards. And if I move my mouse left and right, I can also kind of look left and right as well. So that's that one. We can also right mouse button and drag, which rotates the camera by keeping it still. So I can kind of look all over the place. That's pretty useful. And if we do left mouse button and right mouse button and drag, that allows us to move up and down, which I do. It makes me feel like I'm on a great big trampoline. So that's fun. Another really useful part of the standard navigation is you can do something called focusing the camera. So if you just select something within your level and press F on your keyboard, that's F, there you go. That will then not only zoom in on the asset, but when we move to another navigation system later, it allows you to tumble the camera around that as well. So it kind of becomes the focus of the camera, which is really useful. But I'll just put my camera back out here for now. And um, we'll move on to the game style navigation. And the way that that one works is with using the WASD keys on your keyboard, just like you would do in like a PC first person shooter. Uh, and you use those keys in conjunction with holding the right mouse button down. So if I now hold the right mouse button, if I press W and S and A and D, it will move me backwards, forwards, left and right, but in relation to where I am rotating the camera. So I also get to rotate the camera by default uh, and I can navigate around. And this is actually my preferred way of navigating around in Unreal Engine because it's just easy and you can cover a lot of ground quite quickly. So that's two navigation methods we've looked at so far. The next one we'll call pan, orbit and zoom navigation, which is essentially the same sort of navigation that Autodesk Maya uses, which I find particularly useful because I use Maya quite a lot. The way that that works is you generally hold Alt on your keyboard and then some kind of combination of mouse buttons. So if you hold Alt and left mouse button, that kind of tumbles your camera around. And this is the one that works in conjunction when you focus. So if I focus on this block here and press F, now, when I do Alt and left mouse button, my camera orbits around this particular mesh, which is super useful. You can also do Alt and right mouse button. And what this does is dollies the camera, it essentially moves it in and out. Although apparently it will only let me get that close and then it goes crazy. That's cool. And then you've got Alt and middle mouse button. And what that does is tracks. So it'll track side to side and up and down, which is kind of useful too. One thing that you can use in conjunction with all of these navigation methods is this icon up here, which is your camera speed. So at the moment we're moving at a speed of one, but we can speed that right up to, oh my gosh, it goes up to 32. I'm just going to go to eight. I don't want to go too crazy. But now when I do my game controls, you can see that's moving much quicker, which is not great for precise movement, but if you're working on a big open world, you will need a, a higher camera speed to just get around. So that's pretty cool, but I'm now gonna set that back to one because we're working on quite a small scale. And what is also worth knowing is that you can turn off a lot of the extra things that you don't necessarily wanna see. So you can see we've got all these icons here that are kind of doing stuff. We've also got this here, which is a volume. And you don't necessarily wanna see that if you're just trying to work out what your game looks like. And to make that go away, you can press G on your keyboard and that enables game mode. And that will just make things appear as they will appear in your game, which is super useful. And one other final thing that's worth knowing is if you press F11 on your keyboard, that will enter immersive mode and that will just make your viewport window go full screen. And you can toggle that on and off just by pressing F11. So if I press that again, it'll put me back. Okay, at this stage, I need to set you a challenge because what we're not gonna do now is go over navigation anymore. So I want you to spend a minute and just get to grips with being able to move around, try the different methods out, find your favorite, and make sure you're ready and confident in navigating 3D space before moving on to the next step where we're gonna create a brand new level. So have a go, get good at navigation, and I'll see you in the next step. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you're eager to dive deeper into game development with Unreal Engine 5, I have a fantastic recommendation for you. I highly recommend checking out the course Unreal Engine 5 The Complete Beginners Course by David Nixon on Udemy. It's a comprehensive and beginner friendly course that covers all the essential aspects of working with Unreal Engine 5. I personally found it to be an excellent resource and I'm sure you'll benefit from it too. Check it out by following my link in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon.
The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.